never made a smoked chuck roast, well, let me show you how to do it. It's always fun. It's always delicious. Let's do this. You ready? Let's go. All right, first things first. I'm gonna take some mayonnaise, put that on there, and I'm gonna use that as a binder. You can't hold the mayo any longer. Mayo? Well, it's gonna take a lot more than mayo to stop. <laughs> Now what? You can use mustard. You can use other things like hot sauce if you want, or even olive oil. But uh, I like using the mayonnaise, at least more recently with the uh, chuck roast. It just seems to work, get a little bit more stickier, if you will. Uh, mustard works the same, though, quite frankly. Um, but I'm going to use this. Chuck roast, something as simple as garlic powder, salt and pepper works just fine. I'm using something a little bit different though. I got some Gusti Vitae. I'm going to use this jalapeno sea salt first. Then I'm going to use a little bit of this French onion seasoning. And then I'm also going to use some of this butcher's blend, which I also like on beef. And then last but not least, I'm going to also use some of the smoked prime cut. But you use whatever you got. Next, get your fire started with your charcoal first. Once your charcoal's lit, dump it on the uh, rest of the charcoal and let it get going. First things first, I'm gonna add a little bit of these uh, bourbon barrel chips over here to the side for a little smoke flavor. I'm gonna add in some Worcestershire sauce. Finally, some water. Basically what this is gonna do is gonna allow this to steam the chuck roast of the process so I won't have to spritz it. It'll just keep it moist uh, throughout the entire cooking process. Put my top grates in and just put my chuck roast right over top of that. I'm gonna let this ride till it hits around 160. Uh, and then of course, so uh, we'll check it, make sure it's got good bark and then we'll wrap it and then we'll put it back on the cooker. All right, as you can see, that chuck roast looks great. Just probing it right now. If you don't have one of these instant range, you need to get one. Right now, we're 155 there, 161 there, and 158. So we're close to the 160 mark. As you can see, the color on that chuck roast looks amazing. Getting ready to wrap this up. And after I wrap it up, then we'll, of course, <clears throat> we'll get it ready uh, for the next stage. Check it out. Yeah, we're right there. Look at that probe tender over the 200 mark. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. We'll get ready to pull apart. 